Hello students, a very good day to all of you. Welcome to the chemistry sessions once again. So I hope you all have revised your concepts very well. In the last class, we were discussing a very special kind of and very interesting kind of a nomenclature, isomerism, which is conformational isomerism. And here I had taken up the basics for conformational that means Newman and Sawhorse. So we had discussed about what Newman projections are. And what are sawhorse projections? So I hope you all have got the idea how to make the structures. I have shown you in 3D as well. So Newman projections and sawhorse which is most used, which is more prominently used is Newman whereas even sawhorse can come in your examination. So the sawhorse is just like this. We had discussed in the case of ethane molecule. So, in the case of ethane, we had got this kind of a structure. Do not forget to mention the hydrogens over here because if you are not mentioning the hydrogens, that will automatically mean that this is nothing but these are methyl groups attached. Now, here I have to depict the hydrogens, that is why I am mentioning the hydrogen here. Now, in the case of Newman, how was the structure represented? It was represented like this. This circle will be represented as a carbon which is behind and this dot will be represented as the carbon which is towards you, towards the observer. And finally, the hydrogens placed like this. So, in such cases, what was the conformational names? So, here any kind of infinite number of arrangements which are possible here in this case, in these type of cases, any kind of rotations which I am doing. So, all the conformations all of these include what? I have got three things over here. One is the eclipsed conformation, one is the eclipsed other is what? Other is we have discussed staggered. So, we have got staggered here in this case and the remaining ones, the remaining which are not staggered and eclipsed but some other conformations that means some other rotations that has been done to the molecule, those are known as skew conformations. Or you can say that skew conformations are in total. In totality also I can call it all the conformations as skew whereas I can represent one as eclipsed, staggered and finally the remaining ones as skew conformations. So I hope you all have got what actually eclipsed and staggered forms are. So here staggered is the most stable one. We have already done it and whereas eclipsed is the most unstable one. Remaining are the skew conformations left and what is the stability order for these? So, the stability order So, the stability order for these are first the stable most conformation that is staggered over here. So, I have got staggered Finally, what do I get? All the other conformations which are not eclipsed will definitely be more stable than the eclipsed because eclipsed form is the most unstable one. So, it is most unstable, not just unstable but most out of all I have got eclipsed as the most stable form here. So, I hope you have got the stability order by now staggered followed by the skew conformations, all the skew conformations which are other than staggered and eclipsed and the remaining one is eclipsed which is the most unstable one. So that is how we are going to arrange the stability order of all the formations of the conformations. So this one is very very important, you have to remember it. 
Now, if I take up the energy diagram here in this case, so if I take up the energy diagram, <coughs> what do you think? What will be the energies of different conformations? If you look upon here on the stability order, the most stable molecule or the most stable conformation will be having the least possible energy, whereas the eclipsed form will be having the highest possible energy. In between that, there will lie these Q conformations. So just draw it with me simultaneously. I have got the energy diagram X and Y axis, the Y axis representing potential energy. And here I have got the rotations, the rotational angle. which is represented in degree itself. So here whenever I try to rotate the molecule, what will happen? I am changing the angle. What kind of an angle? Dihedral angle. So these rotational angles will be starting with 0 degrees. That means I am comparing the two, the two adjacent hydrogen atoms and then forming the different conformations like this. So this is the lower level of energy whereas this is, this is also the lower and that is the highest level of energy. So which level will represent the staggered and which will represent the eclipsed. So over here the conformation, the form having the highest possible energy is least stable. So this is highly stable that means least energy. Why is this so? Actually whenever we are talking about a compound or a solid, what will happen? There are intermolecular vibrations in those molecules, in the molecules which are stacked together. So what happens? Those due to those vibrations, the shape of the molecule can get distorted. So more the number of vibrations, more the amount of vibrations, what will happen? the least stable will be, will be the molecule, the shape will not be intact, it can get distorted. Whereas if I have a very, very neutral solid having all the intermolecular forces but lesser number of vibrations comparatively, what will happen? The structure will be very, very stable. So lesser the number of vibrations, lesser will be the energy of that compound that solid and it will be more stable as compared to having higher number of vibrations and higher energy. So these are not only vibrations but different kind of energies which are included in the molecule included in a single atom. That means nuclear energy, translational, kinetic and electronic even. So there are lot many number of energies together which sums up into a whole molecule or an atom. So all these energies combined together will give either a stable form or an unstable form. So here staggered is the very very stable form that means having least possible energy. The molecules are not vibrating that much amount or I can say not even the vibrations but the repulsions are minimum here in this case. So minimum the repulsions more stable will be the molecule. So I have got here the reason is minimum repulsions. Now in the case of eclipsed, it is very, very unstable form. So this is unstable. That means it will have maximum repulsions. Why does repulsion take place? Repulsion is due to the in electrons present in the substance, electron present in the molecule. So due to that what will happen the electron clouds will try to interact with each other but negative negative repel each other that means it will be a lot of repulsions here in this case. So eclipsed form is very very unstable due to maximum repulsions and having highest energy. So I have got here in this case 
the conformations in between the eclipsed and staggered will be having slight non-stability but not that as in the case of eclipsed because in the eclipsed form this is the eclipsed which I have drawn here in the eclipsed form what will happen the hydrogens the two hydrogens are parallel to each other that means the minimum distance between the hydrogens and maximum repulsions. So over here we have got the energy criteria for staggered skew and eclipsed. Now what will be the answer? The least possible energy here will be the case for staggered. So whenever you are depicting the energy diagram you have to draw small small diagrams for the staggered as well as the eclipsed conformations. So that is eclipsed that is also staggered. <coughs> How can I attain the staggered form? So that is 1 it was 0 degree angle. After that here I have got let us just say 60 degrees. After the rotation via 60 degree angle what will happen? Staggered will get achieved. Now what will happen? after another 60 degree rotation after another 60 degree I will be getting 120 angle in total and I have got now eclipsed form so this is the most unstable another 60 will result in the staggered so that is how you are going to show the forms the different forms the staggered like we have discussed is this one and what about the eclipsed? Eclipsed is nothing but like this, a form like this, hydrogens lying behind each other. So this is nothing but the eclipsed form over here. Again, I'll be drawing the staggered. So that is how you are going to represent the energy diagram. So if you are getting confused that how we are actually trying to obtain these kind of conformations. So let us just try to look at here. Over here what is happening? I have got a 0 degree rotation first of all. That was an eclipsed conformation. So I could have started this diagram from higher energy diagram as well. So whenever I am talking about the 0 degree, let us just say I have started with when the hydrogens are parallel to each other. When I try to rotate it at 60 degree angle, what will happen? I have got staggered now. That means a very stable conformation. Again, another 60 that means in total 120. Again, I have got eclipsed form here, which will be higher in energy. Next, I have got another 60 degree rotation. And finally, I have got again the very stable form that is the staggered. So I hope you all have got this. Now, let me just move on to another kind of term that we have discussed earlier that is dihedral angle. Dihedral angle. So here in the case whenever I am talking about the rotations. So if I draw the staggered form in the case of staggered form what will be the dihedral angle? Actually the dihedral angle is nothing but the angle between the two adjacent hydrogen atoms. I am not talking about these hydrogens because these will have always 120 degree angle. These are arranged perfectly. I am talking about actually here this angle. That is the angle between the adjacent hydrogen atoms. So over here what will be the angle? It is 60 degree whenever I am discussing the staggered. Now if I talk about the eclipsed what will happen? So in the case of eclipsed it is very very pretty simple that here the angle between the two hydrogens through adjacent hydrogens it will be 
I am showing here like this the representation is like this but if you try to imagine in 3D it is like this that one hydrogen is exactly lying behind the other hydrogen. So this angle do not go by the picture it is now a certain kind of an angle which has been shown here but it is not so actually the theta over here is 0 degrees. So you must remember this that in the case of staggered you have got the dihedral angle that means theta is equal to 60 degrees whereas here it is 0 degrees I hope you have got it. So this is the eclipsed form and just try to remember the definition for dihedral angle it is the angle between the two adjacent hydrogen atoms not just two hydrogen atoms. So I have to mention the word adjacent in it. Now let us move on to another kind of confirmation, another kind of compound instead of having ethane I will be taking up now propane. So just try to draw the confirmations along with me. Propane I have got, I am only talking about the end propane here this time. So what do I get? I have got propane like this. So will this molecule be showing conformational isomerism? Yes, we have discussed this kind of a criteria in the last session that it has got at least 3 continuous sigma bonds. So it has got 3 continuous sigma bonds. That means what if I try to expand the structure like this now I have expanded the structure you are now able to see it very clearly that I have got even more than 3 sigma bonds that are continuous here 1 2 3 and 4. So I have got 4 continuous that means this molecule is definitely be going to show the isomerism the conformational isomerism how will we depict in the case of Sawhorse and Newman. So the structure that I have drawn here is somewhat similar to Sawhorse if you look upon here it is somewhat similar to the Sawhorse. So we are not going into the details of the Sawhorse it is very very simple you just have to imagine it in 3D then you will get your answer. Let me just move on to this projection, the Newman projection for the propane. So I will be talking about the Newman for propane. What will be the type of depiction over here? Let us just see. So just try to think a little bit what will happen. This is a carbon. Let us just say that I am choosing these two carbon atoms as the carbon behind and the carbon which is in the front. So this is the carbon which is behind that I am taking. You have to just in the case of Newman projection, you just have to choose two carbon atoms and then try to arrange all the rest of the groups. So you just have to have only two carbon atoms in the depiction not anymore. I cannot represent a third carbon behind. There is no such way of having another kind of a circle that will make the representation quite cumbersome. So I can even represent with the help of two carbon atoms here. So I have got this is the carbon behind this is in the front. What will be the kind of depiction over here? So let me just draw the groups first this and let me just have it here. So on to the very first carbon I have got three hydrogen atoms. So I have got three hydrogen atoms. So let us just write three hydrogens over here. On to the second carbon atom what do I get? 
on to the second you can even include a group like methyl so i have got two hydrogens and one methyl attached to the carbon which is behind so i have got ch3 over here so that is the possible structure possible representation of the newman projections for the propane molecule so i hope we have covered all the carbons here one is this represented by this dot the other is the circular and the third one is this and we are quite completing the valencies as well now what will be the different forms involved over here so i can what what can i do is here i have got a structure like this let me just try to rotate it 60 degrees what will happen here in this case so if i rotate it in this manner and finally the groups which are behind what all groups are behind if i try to rotate at 60 degree that means clockwise direction so let me just write it it doesn't matter you rotate it clockwise or anti clockwise you may get another kind of conf confirmation so it is clockwise i am rotating that means into this direction so what will happen i have got a methyl here again a hydrogen placed here and a hydrogen here and the remaining ones belonging to the carbon in the front i have got a conformation like this now if i try to rotate it again what do i get i get something like this and now again the clockwise what will i get i will be getting this methyl over here so this methyl comes up here rest are the remaining hydrogens like this so if you again try to make the rotation what do you get let me just try to rotate it again again what do i get over here here i will be having the methyl at the back methyl the hydrogens remaining these are the remaining hydrogens and i have got the hydrogens over here so what do you observe in all these four diagrams here there was first representation so first representation was like this having a methyl over here now if i try to match such kind of a structure such kind of representation over here where is such kind of a representation it is over here this diagram and this diagram is one and the same thing so all the all these two structures structure number 1 let me just mark it as 2 3 and 4 so what do i get one is equal to 3 if you look at very carefully observe very carefully so one is nothing but 3 and if you observe second is nothing but fourth so what do i get here second is equal to 4 so which are the most stable conformations and which are most unstable conformations here whenever i am having least repulsions why re least repulsions if you compare these two so over here the methyl is having the closest distance having the minimum possible distance between these hydrogens so here is minimum possible distance between hydrogen and methyl so it is minimum possible distance between h and ch3 making it a highly unstable form making it highly unstable why because here the repulsions will be highest so highest repulsions so i 
have got highest repulsions over here in this case whereas I have got the least possible repulsions I have no other way to go for least possible repulsion because this is the only case I can have either this methyl over here or here for the maximum distance so in order to have a maximum distance maximum distance between CH3 and H so that is the only form where I can generate the maximum distance between the two that means this is the most stable form so the name will be same as in the case of ethane molecule it is staggered and what about these these are eclipsed forms so I have got eclipsed this is eclipsed form and also this is again staggered eclipsed so you need not go for all the four forms I was just depicting you how the rotation takes place and how can you generate the different kind of forms over here after having so many rotations we get that only two possible forms are different with each other that means one is eclipsed and one is staggered one is having the highest stability one is having the lowest stability here we have got those confirmations and I am having a comparison over here now if I try to compare the energy diagrams here the energy diagram is in the case of ethane that I had discussed here is the potential energy and here is the angle of rotation whereas again I have to depict it for the propane molecule so that is the potential energy again and angle of rotation now let me just draw the diagrams for you what do I get here I have got something like this these are the highest possible energies that means eclipsed forms so I have got eclipsed forms here this here is in the case of ethane molecule that I am discussing and that is the case for the propane molecule now what will happen here in this case if I try to draw the energy levels like this the energy levels will be as same as here in this case but what will happen now over here the energy difference between eclipsed and the staggered form let me just write it staggered here so these are staggered staggered forms and eclipsed forms so the energy difference between eclipsed minus staggered so the energy of the eclipsed minus the energy of the staggered I have got this difference so this difference is nothing but 12.5 kilojoule per mole and whereas here in this case let me just draw it once again to show you the actual difference as you can see over here the curves here are smaller than the curves over here why because the energy difference here in this case is higher than that in the case of ethane because the repulsions here will be in between the methyl and the hydrogens whereas here the repulsion was in between the hydrogens and the hydrogens that means lesser repulsions lesser will be the energy difference here 
more are the repulsions because I have got a methyl and a hydrogen. So, higher will be the energy gap. It is approximately 13.8 kilojoule per mole. And you all know that these are nothing but these are the eclipsed forms. Do not forget to have a diagram, small diagrams over here to depict the conformations and this is staggered. One more question over here is why I am starting this energy diagram after a level? Why I am not starting it with just from the ground? This is because I hope you must, some of you must have got the answer over here. I have started this diagram from a certain level because the molecule is in itself having some kind of a potential energy, some kind of an energy stored within it and that is why this is the minimum energy which is actually stored in the molecule and after that there may be variations in the energy. It may be high sometimes, it may be low but not below this level. It has got, everything has got an internal energy. You must have read it in thermodynamics chapter. Everything has got some kind of internal energy. If I have a chalk over here, this chalk is also having some kind of energy stored within it. That means what will happen, even the molecules, even the little molecules or little atoms are having some kind of energy stored within them. That energy is then converted into either kinetic, translational, vibrational, any kind. So, there must be having everything in this whole universe, each and everything if I count, must have some kind of energy stored within it. Otherwise, no process will be possible here. So, that is the only criteria that I have got a certain kind of potential energy stored within the molecule itself. That means the propane. That is why I have started this diagram from this very level and I have not started it from the very zero, the, from the zero level. So that is not the starting point but this just be very careful while drawing the graphs, the energy diagrams here in the case of whenever I am discussing the conformational isomerism. Now let me take up the conformations in the case of butane. So that is a very very important, butane is having slightly different kind of arrangements. So let us just discuss, before discussing that just try to note it down then I will take up for the butane. So now here I will be taking up conformations for the butane. So in the case of butane molecule. I will only be discussing the Newman here. So, what do I have? I have got four carbon atoms in butane. I am just representing the N butane here in this case. So, now as I told you before, you have to just pick two carbon atoms. So, any two but starting from the very beginning, starting from the terminal you have to choose. So that is the criteria, choose any two carbons starting from the terminal. So for drawing the structure, I am just choosing these two. You can either pick these two as well. It is one and the same thing and I will be getting. Also you will be getting the same kind of structures. So here what will happen? I have got a carbon which is behind. That means this one, this very carbon and this very carbon which is in the front. Now will I be able to make it a proper structure? Let us just see. So here, if I try to arrange the first of all the bonds, what will happen? I have got the first carbon atom with the three hydrogens. The next carbon atom with two hydrogens and an ethyl group. 
so it has got two hydrogens and an ethyl group is this a proper way of representation do you find it a really very proper way here what is happening can i make this kind of a newman projection a very very symmetric better than this do you have any idea so here what is the actual problem is i can pick up not starting from the terminal but any two carbon atoms to maintain the symmetry of the molecule so to maintain a symmetric diagram so over here in this case this is not at all symmetric what will happen i can choose these two middle ones and have the equal number of or symmetric kind of substituents hence a symmetric kind of a diagram over here so instead of having such kind of representation i may be choosing different groups here so this is a carbon which is towards the observer the carbon which is in the circular form that is away from the observer and i have chosen these two middle ones these two middle carbon atoms now what do i get the carbon which is i am assuming it to be in the front is having one methyl group attached along with two hydrogens so i have got one methyl group along with two hydrogens what about the other carbon atom again it has got two hydrogens and one methyl group over here so it has got two hydrogens and one methyl group so i hope this kind of a symmetric structure is very well understood by you this is very much symmetric now let me just try to rotate the molecule having a different kind of a structure again a 60 degree rotation and the rotation can be either clockwise or anti clockwise i am doing it clockwise every time so here what will i get this methyl will shift on to this hydrogen this hydrogen will be lying behind now an overlapping kind of a structure will be attained so here this methyl shifts here the hydrogen here so i have got a structure like this ways the methyl here in the front has now been shifted the hydrogens remaining now let us just have the remaining groups here and the methyl shifted to this side the other methyl the methyl which was behind now has been shifted to this very side let us just have another possible rotation what will happen so after having a rotation again let me just draw it properly what will happen again this methyl will now get shifted to over here so i have got a representation like this first of all i'll be drawing the attachments of the front carbon atom so here i have got ch3 h h and without getting any confusion i am now shifting the attachments of the carbon which is lying behind that means these kind of attachments the yellow ones so here i am getting what again i'll be getting a structure like this if this is shifted to this side okay what is actually happening over here whenever i'm trying to have a 60 degree rotation what is happening here is i must be rotating only a single carbon atom and not both simultaneously so i have got a finding here do not rotate both carbons simultaneously so only one kind of a rotation is allowed over here so here we have done the correct one what is the possibility here i am just rotating the front one so here i have got 
whenever I rotated the front one, I have got this methyl shifted onto this side and the remaining ones will remain as it is. That means like this. So there are further more possible rotations possible in this compound and I will be having not just staggered, not just eclipsed but slightly different kind of forms as well. About that just try to rotate the molecule again with a 60 degree angle and have different kind of possible rotations and I will be discussing these kind of rotations in the next session. Till then just practice and revise what you all have done. Thank you.